Hey there, it's Jose. In this video, I'm doing a acrylic painting of an original Jedi character that a friend of mine did a cosplay of. In this video, you're going to be watching me try kind of a newer technique for me. Whenever I paint with acrylic, I tend to do flat shades of color throughout the whole piece and then I go in and start adding the shading and the highlights and all of that. But for this I wanted to try it a little bit differently because I wanted to paint it more like you would paint with oil paint which is you are able to plan the colors a lot better. Normally I do things in layers when it comes down to shading but I wanted to try it a little bit different this time around. So you will see I will go through different sections and just focus on the sections and I start with the base tone and then I add shading and highlights to them. Again this is a little different from what I normally do, specifically with acrylics but I wanted to just use this opportunity since I'm doing a new character that someone else came up with, I wanted to try a new technique for it. And overall um, I'm pretty pleased with it. So with the boots I wanted to also focus on making sure I got the highlights really well near the bottom of the boots just because um, it really did help create the the depth to the feet. Um, that's something that I feel like a lot of artists tend to struggle with is the feet, the hands obviously, but specifically with the feet when it comes down to having shoes that are um, one colored or just very um, very symmetrical. It's, it's hard to get that perspective of depth and it kind of makes the feet look a little bit weird at points when you have a shoe that's facing directly forward to, towards the viewer so I wanted to work a little bit on that now for the outfit same thing as I did with everything else starting with the base tone and I wanted to play with some of the colors and kind of um, not have everything have the same type of shading and highlights because things are made of different materials so they react to light a little bit differently. So the the um, the clothing on the top left shoulder, which is his to the right side of the body, I wanted to give that a different highlight look. Obviously, I'm using a picture as a reference, so I'm trying to follow that as closely. But I also want to kind of give it more of of a stylized look to it, just because um, due to time constraints and. Overall, I felt like it works best if there was a little bit of stylizing to it. I think my favorite parts of the costume itself are the sleeves just because it creates a lot of um, dimension to the arms and it also helps create a lot of textures and just a lot of lights and shadows on the sleeves just because of the way that they um, not wrinkle but the way that they form to the body. Um, so I, that's one of the things that I spent a little bit more time on was the sleeves. Now moving on to the belt and the the stomach area. Again, keeping in mind how things react differently, different uh, materials absorb light differently. I want it since similar to the boots, it is a leather belt. I wanted to give it a crisper, um, more defined highlight to it. So now most of the clothing is, is done and I'm moving on to the skin tones and I run into an issue, specifically with the left hand. Um, I did the background using airbrushing and I actually had this background done for a long time. I was trying to do more like a deserted, faded out, kind of blurry background, but I felt it worked really well with this painting. Um, the issue being that some of the colors in the background are very close to what you will use as a skin tone. So I had to work a little bit on the left hand to make sure that it wasn't a color that didn't match the, the skin tone of the person, but it, that it also didn't blend in too much into the background. It just kind of looked like there was no hand there. Now with the face, I didn't have that issue since that area is already in the sky and it's more of a white yellowish sky color. So the face tones do stand out a little bit more. But in retrospective, I would have used a different color for the ground um, just so that it didn't blend in so much with the skin tones. So for this part, I had to 
get a little bit more detail and use a smaller brush. Most of the rest, if you notice, I was using um, a flat, about half an inch wide to, and, and also like a quarter inch wide flat brush. For this, I'm using a small round brush. And again, making sure that the colors of the hands match the colors of the face, because normally I would go through and just give a flat tone to everything. Since I wasn't doing that, I gotta make sure that there's a little bit the same colors. So you don't wanna have the issue where the hands are a different color than the face. Now working on the shading around the feet, you kinda wanna always have some shading around the feet just to kind of give the subject a presence in the world. Um, for this, I kind of had a little bit of an issue just because I wasn't sure exactly what color to use, but I think it came out looking pretty good. Um, kind of want to take some of the saturation away, but you don't want to make it too dark. So here's the finished painting, all done now. Let me know what you guys think. I'm thinking I will probably end up cropping this a little bit. It's a little too wide, so I'm probably going to crop it like within my arm. Then, so yeah, let me know what you guys think. Bye. Thanks for watching my video. Make sure to like it, leave a comment below, and for more art-related videos, go to my channel and subscribe.